Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode from Staffordshire Car Care. My name is Craig. This week we play a game called Spot the Difference. Come in right up. This week we're very lucky to have the Porsche Boxster 25 with us. This one here having a full range of Gion ceramic coatings. In addition, having paint protection film applied to the bonnet, the wings, front bumper, sills, mirrors and a few other areas. In addition, we'll be having the coatings have also applied to the wheels, the calipers, interior, glass and fabric roof. So stick around and we can show you the processes behind those. We had an interesting message through our Instagram page and it was a question asking, how do we ceramic coat our wheels? Now, first of all, we use Gion Q2 rim. That's the product of our choice when we are coating these wheels and we do the barrels and the faces all inside the lug nuts, the badges, everywhere we can possibly get coating. And it is quite difficult. And the current process that we are using, which is leaning the wheels against our plaques that are on the wall, that's just to save any marks. But each plaque is labeled up with the associated corner that the wheel comes from. So offside front, offside rear. So we don't get a mix up. But having to have to coat each wheel front and back and double check the coating is removed it can be quite stressful on the knees. So I did a Google search to try and find a solution. I came across a website called Clean and Shining where they were selling these Poker Premium wheel stands. And it comes with three rollers which allows you to spin the wheel nice and easy. So Martin is going to jump onto these wheels very shortly and give a small demonstration of how we coat our wheels. A very common comment we get is why do we leave the bonnet or hood open while we're washing the vehicle? It is quite simple. There is going to be dirt and debris trapped, not only on the underside, but through the channels and the rubbers underneath. Not only is it important that when the vehicle is completed and the car is coated and everything is done, that all inside the door shuts, when you open up all the compartments, everywhere you can see is clean, polished, grease-free and coated. It is also crucially important that when we're applying paint protection film, when we spray the slip solution, and slip solution does enter those channels, that it's not bringing and carrying grit, sand, dirt down and over the panel we're applying film. Now I understand that the concern is that fluid and water is going to enter underneath and into the car. As you can see underneath here, it is dry, there is no fluid in here, and I'll bring you right in for you to have a look. So I hope that settles the question, why do we leave the bonnet or hood open while we're washing the car? It is just crucial for us to make sure the car is ultimately clean. So ceramic coating a wheel, really straightforward. We use Gion Q2 rim. We apply a large amount to an applicator, apply to a section, move the wheel along and repeat all the way around and buff off immediately. Flip the wheel around and do it on the barrels as well. You can also apply Q2 rim to your calipers, exhaust pipes, of anything of that nature. The only slight discrepancy that we found with using the wheel stand is when you are handling the wheel, taking it off, especially when you've freshly coated a wheel, is don't forget that you'll be leaving some fingerprints on the wheel as you take it off. So when you remove the wheel or you've swapped it for another one, just make sure that you're buffing off and checking any uh, coating that's left behind. So far this week, I probably shouldn't have had a haircut halfway through making this video, but oh well, bit of a transition. So far this week, we've had a mini John Cooper Works go out. That has had a front end paint protection film installation, which comprised of the bonnet from bumper, wings, mirrors as well. So that's gone. Customer super happy and has left us a absolutely brilliant review. And we really are thankful for that one. Thank you very much. So we had a fascinating comment made on our last YouTube video, which was paint protection film when applied can cause an orange peel or textured effect to the paint. This can be true to a degree based on different film types, but we're going to reach out to our good friend, Nick at Rapguard, Doncaster, UK. So Nick, what are your thoughts about paint protection film causing an orange peel effect to the paint? Over to you. Hi Craig, and thank you for the warm welcome. I believe your viewer has a very valid question. Does paint protection film give an orange peel effect? Well, traditionally, yes, and at the moment there is still some films in the market that do that, but with good reason. 
If you're filming a full vehicle, then yes, we can go for a film that reduces the orange peel effect. We can go for films that have coatings in. We can even change the color of the car using a colored paint protection film. But if you're doing a front end of a vehicle, or maybe just a bumper or a bonnet, you really want to mimic the finish of the car. And let's be honest, most cars these days do have a form of orange peel effect. So naturally you want a film that mimics that. So to answer your question, yes, there is films on the market that offer an orange peel effect, again, for good reason, but there's also a lot of films on the market that significantly reduce the orange peel effect of your vehicle if you did the full car coverage. Over to you. So let's play Spot the Difference. So what we're trying to demonstrate in this short clip is the white line that you see going through the center of the shot is our sealing tube. You're looking to see the structural difference or any clarity difference between where PPF has been installed and where PPF hasn't been installed and they should look exactly the same. And as you can see in this clip that they do. So I was stumbling down the usual YouTube rabbit hole and stumbled across a channel called um, Monroe Live. Uh, I got myself really into it and the guys there are very informative and great bunch of information that comes out of that channel. Well done guys. But in addition, um, I found myself a spur of a moment buying myself one of these. Now there's a little bit of a quiz for you. If you can tell me us through the channel and the comments what that is you'll get a congratulations um, so yeah go and check out those guys if you're into your electric cars and your teardowns and your bit of uh, engineering uh, these are the guys to go and check out so Monroe Live can you tell me what this is in the comments below? The ceramic coating is being applied by Greg. The coating choice for this car is Q2 Mose Evo, purely based on criteria, which was the information the owner left on our quote form. We take mileage and specific information, and that allows us to select the right coating for the owner. Right then, it's Thursday. We're coming up to the end of a really busy week. We had the mini John Cooper works gone out after having front end paint protection film. The Boxster 25 is nearly, nearly, nearly done. It is going out in roughly about an hour and a half. We've got the Lexus SC430 for a two-stage machine polish, ceramic coatings to the paint, wheels, glass, interior, the whole lot. That will be going out Friday, which will be tomorrow, so we'll have some pictures and videos of that coming up very soon. Greg is just getting the paperwork ready for the customer. Every single car of ours goes out with a folder with all the information in that you need to know about how to take care of the car. A fail-safe system that we have just to check everything is absolutely fine. On the third wash that you would carry out at home, you are entitled to a free health check should you want it. That just allows us to see how you've been getting on, make any advice if there is any things to point out. That is it. There's your new boots. Beautiful. So still really busy, we are wrapping things up on the Lexus, ready to go out this afternoon. The interior is just being completed as we speak. Martin, as you can see, has just tested out his new boots. He's been clearly running them nice and fast, which is great. Uh, Uber delivery of our McDonald's has just literally arrived. So we'll be having a short break and then we'll get back to you to finish off the week. See you back in a sec. So we've come to the end of a really busy week. Thank you ever so much for watching this video again. Thank you everybody who is subscribed. Don't forget to subscribe, tap the icon button and make sure. <laughs> I slipped further than I thought. <laughs> I've got some grip in these boots. <laughs> Here we are at the end of another busy week. As you can see, the studio is now empty.
thank you very much for everyone who has come to visit us this week and bought your lovely cars. Thank you for those who have been assisting us throughout this week. Thank you ever so much for Neil at Car Deliveries for you, for delicately picking up the Porsche 25 and bringing it to us nice and safely. Thank you very much for Nick at RapGuard for his input on the PPF topic. Thank you for watching. Thank you for those who are subscribed already. For those who are not, don't forget to subscribe. Tap the bell icon to be notified when our next video is uploaded. And we'll see you again soon. Take care, thank you, bye-bye.